Hello everyone. I hope you are all uh, doing well. This is Maria Ceresa, and um, if you have been in this channel since I uh, started it, you may have uh, seen a video I posted about this particular tree a few weeks back. Um, I purchased this tree here in Indonesia, and uh, when I got it, it's it has a few short branches here and there. Um, it was good looking. It, it's uh, an almost finished tree when I got it and um, ever since I had it, it has grown vigorously. As you can see here, we have this uh, very long uh, growth already. We also have um, some growth up here, up top, right? very strong growth as well and a lot of other branches. Like here at the back we have one here as well and here so I have this tree for like uh, give or take I, I think about a uh, couple of months six weeks around that and um, it has grown vigorously um, I'll put somewhere uh, I'll put up somewhere a picture of the tree when I first got it so today I will be working on uh, pruning the tree particularly this uh, long and leggy growth at the top and kind of like bring back that uh, triangular shape that it had um, originally when I got it so I will be cutting short this uh, growth to about uh, one or two um, nodes this one as well there are a few branches that I would like to keep like for example uh, sorry I don't have a turntable yet like for example uh, this growing branch here at the back I wanted to grow this one because I wanted to uh, fill up this area here with some foliage so maybe I could grow this one and this one as well I don't know, I don't know if you can see it but again all right so these two branches this one and this one I wanted to grow a little bit to provide more depth at this area at the back all right so the rest of its growth i wanted to um, shorten to bring back that uh, triangular shape of the tree and keep it so this is how the tree looks now after all the cuts that we make we shorten the branches So as you can see, the, the shape of the tree is back to its triangular shape originally, but the branches are, the pads are a lot more fuller, I think. Okay, um, so let's get started with this tree. We'll start from the bottom. So we have this uh, very long and leggy uh, growth. Let me adjust the uh, lighting for a bit. Okay, there you go. All right, so we have this long and very leggy growth on the side. Um, as you can see, it already has some growth here and here as well. So I wanted to trim this particular branch down. So I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of uh, stub for die back I don't know how um, pronounced die backs are for Ceresa this is my first tree so I'm gonna trim it here okay there you go all right now let's move on top a little bit here we have another growth right here I wanted to cut it a little bit short down there on its first node So that kind of like um, defines this part a little bit more. We have another one here. We're going to cut into its uh, first node. There you go. Okay. Lastly, this one. Let's see. I think it's okay. We can leave that one. I think so. 
Alright, another one would be this one. Right here we're going to trim it down to its uh, second node about this here. Um, another one right here. So as you can see, it's uh, a lot cleaner now, a lot more even in its uh, growth, so that's fine. Let's move on. Up top we have here, this one, uh, this one also. So basically when we are pruning, uh, what creates, what happens after we prune is that um, the tree would respond usually by doing, by back budding. And when it back buds, it creates a more uh, compact branch structure and foliage where you uh, pruned it. So um, two things that we are able to achieve when we uh, prune. I know there are some other benefits to pruning, but I think the most obvious would be a more compact tree because of the back budding and uh, control of the apical dominance of the tree as well. All right, so in this particular tree, since I'll only be maintaining the shape, its original shape, then controlling the apical dominance is, is a must. So we're gonna trim down the tree back to about one or two nodes. Right. So you can see um, a lot, there are a lot of yellowing leaves at the bottom but you can't find any of that at the top. So what happens I think is that um, the bottom part here is beginning to weaken because so much of the vigor of the trees pushing up its growth. So by trimming those growth up top back down we are actually allowing the tree to focus its energy and vigor on the lower branches that it has. Okay, so, we, so we kind of like balance the energy of the tree by simply doing some pruning. Right. This one right here, we can get back to about here. This one I will cut. Right, I think this is the most vigorous of all its growth. So this is its leader. I will cut it down to this one. All right, so as you can see, let's examine that particular branch that we just cut. I cut it here. Oops, if you could see it. All right, there you go. I cut it here. It has actually already a branch going this direction. Okay, so that would obviously go into grow and in a month or two I would be pruning it back I think because uh, in my experience of this tree the way it's growing it's just growing so fast so I think about probably six months six weeks to two months I'll be pruning it back down again so that's a good thing because that would uh, give us uh, the, the shape a compact tree that we wanted a lot faster Here and this one to here. Okay, this is another example. We already have some branching here, uh, some flower buds up there. So we're gonna cut it down to the first branch. All right, there's another one here. I'm gonna cut it here. Okay. As you can see, it now has that uh, almost uh, like a dome type shape that we were looking for. Okay, so let's move on to this side. This one I'm gonna cut here. This one I'm gonna cut uh, here. 
sorry. Okay, so here at the back we have uh, this growth right here we're going to cut it down as well to first node right about here okay we have uh, this one we cut it back out down to about here this one we'll cut a little bit more down here So we're here. Uh, for now, we'll cut it to here. So we are now back to those two branches that we talked about earlier. These two branches at the back, this one and this one. This one, this one in particular, is the one that I would like to keep and form it here at the back. So maybe we could let this one go. All right. So we're gonna cut it flush at the bottom of the branch right there right there okay so this one we're gonna keep we're gonna allow it to just shoot upwards and thicken up in the next few months Here are the branches I was able to prune off the tree um, to caught my good friend Jay of Blue Jay Bonsai Carnage Cow. <laughs> okay, so this is how the tree looks now after all the cuts. As you can see, there's the uh, branches that I have cut down on the side. Um, here we have the triangular shape back. It's shorter, more compact, and a lot more appealing to the eye. Um, I've kept obviously that branch at the back. We wanted that to develop to provide depth at the back. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the process of uh, me pruning my Ceresa. Okay, have a good day, everyone.